Hello guys, today I want to demonstrate to you and also discuss with you a feature of changing email in user profiles. So imagine you allow your users to change their email in the profile, but you use email verification system from Laravel. How do you re-verify email? And I found that implementation, that idea in the open source project called Monica, there's a service for changing the email, doesn't matter that much what that service does and how it is called, I'm interested in this part. So if there's some kind of configuration for double opt-in in that case of the project, we set email verify to null and send verification notification again. I've recreated that behavior in my own demo project and will demonstrate it to you and let's discuss whether you would do the same thing. This demo project is based, is generated with our free package called Lara Starters, which gives you Laravel Breeze with some additional visual UI theme on top. There are six themes on Bootstrap and three themes on Tailwind from what I remember. I've chosen a random one windmill theme. So registration form looks like this, but behind the scenes, it's actually Laravel Breeze. The only thing I've changed in the user model, I use must verify email. So implement must verify email is a function from Laravel itself, which allows to utilize this column in the database users email verified ad. First, I will demonstrate to you how it works in general. So when anyone registers, they get sent an email. So this is the temporary page of like success, but you need to click the verification link in your email. I'm using MailTrap to test the email. So there's verify email address link sent by Laravel. We'll click that one and then we'll land on the dashboard. So that's how general verification works. If we take a look at the database, we have email verified at set successfully, but if we had null before the verification and we try to land on the dashboard, we refresh and we get redirected to the verify email page because in our routes web, we have verified middleware here. So that's how that Laravel function works. That's kind of a backstory before this video. Now in this video, let's set the verification email to not null again, like now, then we go to the dashboard and specifically choose my profile to change the email. That comes also from Lara Starters package. It generates the simple profile editing like this. And when you submit that form, it gets to the controller of profile controller here, which looks like this. Let's close the sidebar. So updating the password, if it is changed, and then updating name and email. Now in here, similarly to the Monica example, which I've shown in the very beginning of this video, we need to check if email was changed, some kind of condition, we need to do set the email verified at to null again and send the notification to verify the email. And there will be one pretty important catch here. So watch me doing that. So if auth user email is not the same of request email, then we send a notification. You would think that's the correct condition, but it's not. Because at this point, after you update the user, those will be always the same because user email would get refreshed with the request email value. So we need to save this value into some kind of variable before that, like here, old email equals this. And then we need to check that with old email like this then you would think that we need to do something like auth user update and then set email verified add to no right another catch another thing is that email verified add by default in laravel is not in the fillables of user model so this is what we need to add manually by default it looks like this and don't ask me how I found out. If you don't get that into fillables, you will not get any errors, but this would not get executed. So let's get it back here. And then we need to send the verification email. Let's copy that from the Monica code, send verification notification like this, auth user like this. So let's try it out, change the email, we submit, it takes a few seconds. That means it probably is sending the email. Yep, we do have a new email. Great, and what happens if we go to the dashboard? Yep, we're still unverified. So we do need to verify the new email. We click verify, and we are now in the dashboard, re-verified again. 
The only thing I would improve here, the last thing in this controller, there are quite a few occasions of repeating auth user. It is fine if you do it once, but in our case, we do it like six times. So I will use a PHP storm function called refactor, introduce variable, replace all occurrences, and let's call it just user. You can do it manually, or as you saw, PHP storm made it really simple for me. So yeah, this is the demonstration of re-verifying email in Laravel. Two questions for you. One, do you do re-verification of the email or do you kind of trust that the new email is correct? And second question, would you do it the same way or maybe you have a different trick or different approach? Shoot in the comments below, subscribe to the channel and subscribe to my premium content at laraveldaily.com with courses and longer form tutorials there. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.